okay, I lied. There are six parts to this, but hey, more for you, right? So we're making our way across Center City by way of working our way around Rittenhouse Park. So again, if you think about the Society Hill area, we're kind of making a beeline for that part of town. And that's just to the south of Rittenhouse Square. So as you can see, this is a pretty area. It's going to continue on for a good bit. This was a scenic skate. It was a nice scenic skate. It was a good pace. There was so much to see along the way in terms of these brownstones. There was a lot of, I, I'd say, up and over, up and over, as you can see, as we were going through these streets. And I should probably repeat at this time that there is a song, ver song a musical version of each one of these videos so you can either watch them with my commentary or you can listen to them with music and just kind of aimlessly watch mindlessly watch you can see the young girl here she is uh, probably close to the same age as my youngest son when he finished his first full skate with the landscapers in Philadelphia she could be as young as six she looks like she's about six or seven parents along the way perfectly safe along the way of course you can tell with this with this group and we're working our way again across town we're eventually going to cross broad street and continue on towards you know the south street area but we're not going to we're not going to hang out there alone we're going to double back again like any of the landscaper sunday skates they usually have a halfway point at south street so whatever the skate is that's usually I'd say eight, nine times out of ten going to be the halfway stopping point. You can see Kristoff holding everybody up here for traffic. These buildings look newer, of course. Philadelphia constantly undergoing some sort of change somewhere. Whether it's people moving into older buildings and gentrifying the neighborhood or, or simply raising buildings and putting up new structures, Philadelphia is definitely changing. You can see the see that with things like you know on the waterfront with Sugar House Casino and on the opposing side of, is where we just skated through with the uh, with the boardwalk so right here we're we're skating through I think this is Washington Square you see the fountain there and if you look off to the left you'll see a monument to um, to the soldiers so it's a solemn area when you get off to the side there Now we're not going to stop at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, however, that does exist off to the left there. We're kind of cutting a 45 degree angle out of the center of the park back, almost in the direction hence from where we came. So we're going to wind up over here on the corner of 7th Street and Walnut Street. And Kristoff's going to hold everybody up for traffic. Give you a little view if you want to stop with the 360 and spin around, take things, take things in. And we're going to head up now towards the Gay Pride Parade. That's essentially what all this is culminating in. We're going to be heading in that direction. I believe at this point in the skate, I've uh, cut out the segment where we, we hit the halfway point down at the uh, South Street section. And I believe at this point, Kristoff's already checked in with the sweep. We know everybody's here, and off we go again. I'm kind of getting off to the side of everybody to give you a view of, of the city and the skaters. So we're, we're somewhat between Old Town and Center City, if that gives you a perspective. We, we were really darn close to Independence Hall. When we hit Washington Square, it's like a block off of Independence Hall. But if you want to see Independence Hall, then you can look at some of the earlier videos. that have, I think that was on a Saturday skate. Here we are skating through an intersection with some real nasty pavement. And now we are truly working our way downtown, like into Center City at this point. However, if I know Kristoff, there is no straight line between any two points. In fact, that's how it is with all the landscapers. They, they pick a, a location they want to get to, and they kind of zigzag their way around to it. So what do we have here? This is the Gay Pride Parade. 
and again, it's every year. It seems like it's always on the same day. The, the, the Philadelphia Free Skate Sunday Skate is on Father's Day almost every year. And so is the Gay Pride Parade. So if you ever want to know when it is, there you go. Just think Father's Day. And we skate across it, come back across it. We try to skate around it in some places, and we end up running into people who are, you know, staging in back alleys. And so you're going to see plenty here. This part of the parade, I, th I could have swore this woman looked like Gloria Aldred. You know, that uh, ambulance chaser lawyer? The one who basically gives all lawyers a bad name because she's just so over the top. So as we pass through the parade here, you know, don't think this is the extent of the gay pride parade. It was actually a huge, huge thing. I think we just caught it at the tail end, and we're going to double back and cross over. You're going to see more of it. You'll see the, um, the more interesting sites soon enough. And, you know, to me, I don't have a problem with the gay pride parade or, or people being gay, for that matter. I have plenty of friends who are gay. But I certainly, I don't really understand, you know, pushing advocacy of things that you're involved in too far. I think a gay pride parade is fine, but, you know, in many cases, some things, parades and such, are, are, are just masked events for a protest. Um, not the case here, but in many cases they are. So I'm, I'm one of those people where I, I like to, you know, stand my ground and, and, you know, make certain that I, you know, I fall on a certain side of an issue, but I don't push it. I don't get in anybody's face about it. You know, that's a whole nother subject again. So this is not a me denouncing the gay pride parade. I just don't honestly about the gay pride parade. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's funny and comical to look at people dressed in all these different colors and, and doing, you know, wacky things. But outside of that, yeah, no major interest to me, but if it's uh, interesting to you, then guess what? You're going to see more of it soon enough here as we cruise through the streets of Philly. All right. Two parts left. We're almost done. It's too much for any man!